hey all this is the part 8 please hit the subscribe if you have not so do not forget to click the join button just below the videos you will find this button small subscription but you can get access to wealth of knowledge so let us jump into the questions this is the first one you can pause this read it carefully i will tell you the story here see this problem the question is is a data stage database storage problem and there is a performance issue you want to address the performance issue so we will as a doctor we will ask some key questions what is your current storage that you are using so the answer is i will mark it in blue the answer is they are using general purpose ssd so let me show you something uh, this is for ebs i'm showing but just remember ssd you know even the laptops that you buy today so you should buy ones with ssd because they are uh, very fast but expensive so now you may say that you already have ssd still you have performance issues so what should we do so this is sd there are two types general purpose and provision so if you are already using ssd for general purpose and you have issues then go for provision iops so it gives you highest performance and it is iops intensive so why do we need IOPS intensive? Because there, there are millions of updates happening and inserts, they are taking 10 seconds or longer and that is not acceptable. That means they need super high performance. So we will go with A. This is our answer. Now you might say option B why can't i use this to memory to memory optimized instance class see memory optimized is like common sense eh? it always remember this thumb rule only read will be efficient writes are not efficient with memory optimized here we are talking about only writes when you say millions of updates this one you see this here millions of updates inserts okay this one and this one so update and insert are both right operations so if you see this documentation this one says that memory optimized will deliver fast performance for workloads that possess large data sets you know just like uh, you have batch loads like data warehouse for example every day at night it runs and it updates or refreshes the data warehouse so there are millions of records that it pulls fresh and it will insert here we are not looking for such requirement here we are looking for transactional it's like uh, some update will happen immediately in 10 seconds it has to happen through the website so memory optimized instance will not work it is good for etl workloads okay etl is extract transform and load now c talks about burstable performance see you use burstable performance instances when you have burst of uh, high loads you you know this phrase burst of anger that means you are not angry always but certain times there is a rush of blood high emotions and you get angry so these peaks this peak here and this peak here these are the time when you get very angry so these are the time when your system needs more processing power more cpu because the data volume is very high that time here we are only talking about transactional data like someone updates something on the website it is talking about transactional 
data like it's kind of millions of updates are happening uh, through the day every day through company's website okay it is not happening through the etl process remember it is not happening through the etl process it is happening through company's website you see here they have written updates are happening through company's website that is different than etl that's why burst performance class will not help you don't know when people are updating right and d says enable multi az rds read replicas so read replica is a solution for reads not for writes here we are talking about updates here we are talking about insert operations these both are write operations not read operations so this is my final answer see the requirement here is very clear what is required is you need a solution to ingest and store alerts for future analysis now this is your only problem statement that you should focus on at this stage you should ingest and store the alerts these are real time because why real time it is coming through edge devices okay and the alerts are real time so whenever you talk about real time we think about kinesis we don't think about sqs we don't think about ec2 instances so we don't think about ec2 instances we don't think about sqs so a and c only these two have kinesis 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 so my answer here would be a and not c see why because i will have kinesis firehose stream to ingest the alerts that is fine it will ingest the alerts then it will deliver the alerts to s3 bucket and i will put s3 life cycle configuration to transition the data to glacier after 14 days you see this older than 14 days requirement is here so this is uh, most operationally efficient as well as cost efficient also but this is operationally efficient compared to c okay so a is right but let us look at c why c is wrong so what c is doing is it first step is the same it will ingest the alerts and it will deliver to open search service cluster then it will set up open search service to take manual snapshots every day delete the data from cluster it is older than 14 days so this is too much of work you know for uh, what we have to answer is whatever is operationally efficient what do you mean by operationally efficient that means i can do it with less number of steps less number of people option c i will need to do more number of steps okay plus s3 is born you know s3 is born for this purpose to store the data and transition it to minimize your storage cost open search is not born for this so if you have a fuel efficient car like honda born for this then why will you buy a ferrari which is not the full efficient the problem statement says you want efficient car it doesn't say you want a car to show off so this would be my final answer see read this question okay this question see i have a straight cut thumb rule i'll give you some guidance so if you see software as a service like integration with that your application is integrating with saas sources for data collection app flow is designed for that so this is the software or service available new service huh? this is something available to 
utilize the software as a service model like Salesforce, SAP, Zendesk, Slack, ServiceNow. ServiceNow, you know, you put all defects there. So you can integrate. You don't have to bring the defects in your own data warehouse. You can integrate, run some anal analytics on top of it. Or if you still want to bring it, you can bring it and store it in S3. You can bring it and store it in Redshift for some advanced analytics. This you can do. Remember, this is called app flow, not air flow. App flow. So I only see one option with app flow. So this is my answer. See, I can analyze other options, but I do not see an advantage of doing that because I know, uh, for example, if uh, Usain Bolt is born to be an athlete, a runner, so why would I pick up someone like Rishabh Pant from the cricket fraternity and tell him that, hey, you know what, can you fit that shoes of Usain Bolt? So these three are wrong. This would be my answer. Please hit the subscribe button. So friends, nothing is free of cost. So if you want access to more questions, click the join button. I'm doing my best to put as many content as possible for free. But I would request you to click the join button. There are additional questions there. See you in the next part.